Hello and welcome to this video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how I assembled this batch of Little Shop Props Classic Tools. Okay, so the first step in assembling all these is laying out all the parts um, because each one is sort of slightly different, there's a load of different variations. Um, so I lay it out from left to right, we've got the earliest variations here, the latest ones over here, so we've got Pertwee ones all the way through to Davison's. Um, and having all the parts out in front of me helps me keep track of sort of what's what, um, what I need to do. Each of them is processed slightly differently depending on the variation. Um, so yeah, I get them all laid out. And then I like to start with painting the halos because this is the part that's the most time sensitive. It takes the longest to dry. Um, and brass is also a bit of a nightmare to paint. So getting this done first means that I get any sort of, you know, I get the hardest part out of the way. So, in between coats of paint, I can start on these. Um, here's a finished one. You can see it's got this little sort of collet on it that holds this in place. It stops it sliding up here too far. Um, so I need to make sure the collets are the right size because they don't quite fit, so they need a bit of drilling out. Um, and then I need to tap each hole. And I also need to tap these pieces. So to do this, I'm gonna put it in the vise like so, and I'm going to use the Dremel, I'm just going to go around and slowly remove some material. So now that all of the collets fit, I can start tapping these in and also start um, tapping the holes in these. So let's go. Okay, um, these parts have all been glued together and have their grub screws in. Uh, these parts all have the painted black lines. These all have the grub screws in, which means it's time to assemble the sort of main body of the prop. Um, so, yeah, I'll get on that. I've got 15 to do.
Okay, so I've got all the bodies assembled, uh, so it's time to start on the halos. Now I've started assembling some of them. This is a Pertwee 1 halo. Um, this is a Pertwee 2 halo. Um, but I need to do all the Pertwee 3s and the Bakers and the Davisons. So the construction of the halo section is relatively simple. Um, you've got one long rod and then two shorter rods that hold um, that hold the bullet section in place. At the moment, I'm assembling the halos for the bakers. Okay, so I've got most of the bodies assembled, uh, I've got most of the halos assembled, so the next step is to go through and apply all of the tape detailing to each of the pertwees. Um, so what I need to do is take these apart, I've got the tape, um, I've got my drawing all the measurements, uh, and yeah, I'll start applying all of the electrical tape to the pertwees. And with that, this batch is complete. Uh, all the construction's been done, and they look fantastic. This is one of the smaller batches. It's about 16. Um, usually the batches are a bit bigger, but this is just the amount of orders that I had to put together at the moment. Um, and yeah, I'm very pleased with how they turned out. I think the Davisons are fantastic in this batch. They're some of my favorites. If I had to pick one favorite, it would be the Pertwee 2. There's something just so iconic about this style. Um, I love the tape detailing. I think it's a fantastic prop. 
Now these are available to buy from the Little Shop Props website, um, that will be linked in the description, uh, along with many other props. But I think that's enough of me talking, so I'll let you take a look at some of the beauty shots. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.